Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create your own custom muscle flashes. So uh, the one I'm using here, uh, this is the vanilla one. Uh, you can find it on this path here. I also have the folder open, let's see. Here, in your A3 uh, folder, you have uh, you will find all uh, the muscle flash data from uh, vanilla armor. And uh, the one I'm using is this one right here. MF Machine Gun Cheetah and um, I want to create my own uh, so I have to debinarize this file here and um, I'll show you how you do, how you do that copy the path open the odol converter I'll uh, provide the links in the description uh, choose the file from this folder here uh, MF Machine Gun Cheetah Download MLOD. Uh, let me go back to my work drive or work folder. Um, and I'm just going to um, cut it and paste it into my uh, work drive. Close that now. Um, now that the, this file is unbinarized, I can open it in Blender. First, I'm just going to rename it. Call it custom muscle flash. Um, so yeah, right now just leave your uh, vehicle as it is, and um, import the D three D for the muscle flash. Import, yeah. And uh, if that was a little quick, uh, I just uh, now I uh, I closed my whole uh, vehicle file. You see, I have nothing here. The muscle flash needs to be on its own file. Uh, okay, so import it. It's here, P Hammerhead, custom muscle flash. And um, I'm gonna make mine uh, for pur purpose of this tutorial uh, much much bigger than the. Um, vanilla ones. So let me just select this one, go into edit mode. I'm gonna leave the cursor in the center. And then I'm gonna choose here, pivot point, 3D cursor. That means I can scale it from this point. So the position is the exactly the same. So let me just scale it up real big here. And then I'm gonna do the same with the other one. There are only two visual models here. Uh, this one, yeah, I'm going to wireframe, scale it up real big like that. Okay, so this is the highest resolution one. This is the lower resolution one. As you can see, it's just flat planes. Uh, and you can use whatever you want, actually. You can create flat planes that are placed differently, or um, you can create them like you, you can create anything, really. Uh, you can actually use any kind of model for this. You can you can make a muscle flash that looks like a, a pig if you want to. Um, yeah, now I scaled them up. And I'm gonna... I want to change the textures too. So I go into the materials tab here. Uh, I'm closing these menus to get to the bottom here. And I see they they are using these materials here. Uh, as I can see, I'm going to copy the textures they are using from the vanilla folder. I'm just going to use them and uh, and change them. So they are located uh, in the data folder here. Muscle flash rifle set 01, front and side. I'm going to copy these, place them in my own folder. I'm just going to create a new folder here called check. Textures. I don't want to. Um, I don't need to change the RE mat for this purpose. I can just use the vanilla one. But uh, these are the ones I want to change. Um, open them in. Let's see. Open text view too from Armor Tools. And open this. Yeah. Open the the files here. Save them as PNG. And the same with the other one. Save as PNG. 
And then I'm gonna open them in open them in GIMP. You can use Microsoft Paint or Photoshop or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna open this one right here. And uh, I'm gonna do color, colorify, and make it look like plasma or something. This is maybe a good plasma color. Uh, like that. All right. And then I'm going to open the other one, the side one. Same thing here, colorify. Make them blue looking. Export that. Now I have the PNG files. Now close my uh, GIMP program. And then I need to open them in Text View once again and save them as PAA files. PAA, like that. All right, yes. And same with this one. Now I have them here. Now I need to use these files instead of these files, which are linked to the, this path here. So I'm just going to copy, remember the PAA, not the PNG. Get the file extension. Um, I'm going to use this path. Just don't include the P. Never include the P, letter P in these uh, links or paths um, yeah this this is using the front one and this material is using the front one and this one is using it and the last one is using the the side one I see copy that one don't include the P like that uh, and yeah, the materials on the second one are also changed. That's good. So, uh, and for some reason, when you um, import the um, the uh, unbinarized bezel flash from Vanilla Arma, you get a geometry lot included, and uh, and this one is uh, empty. And it will give you problems if you try to export it now with an empty geometry lot and you don't really need the geometry for this so i'm just going to delete the geometry lot like that i just have these two visual objects they are all i need and then i'm gonna export it as a p3d uh, go to my work folder i have one from before just, i'm just gonna replace that and like always you need to when exporting from blender you need to open them in object builder and save them uh, yeah just gonna have a quick look at it in the in bulldozer see if it looks okay yeah looks blue and fine yeah and then uh, now I'm going to open my vehicle again my hammerhead and like I, I told you before right now it uses the vanilla one I'm going to um, in this proxy link or proxy path here I'm going to use the one I just made so go to your work drive you don't need the file extension for this so just the name and the path without the P of course and um, the proxy needs to start with this proxy colon slash and then you replace the rest with your own like that and i like to to keep this um, 001 after it because if you if you want more muscle flashes they uh, they need to have separate names so if i were to make one on the opposite side here it would need to be called uh, 02 otherwise it won't work so let me just delete the one I just made and uh, this one right here using the path to the one I made. So, okay, save it 
export the vehicle. Go to your work drive. Oh, oh, that's wrong. Hammerhead, replace the hammerhead, and uh, open it in Object Builder. Save it, and then you can pack it and see if it works. Let's have a look. <laughs> start up. There's the left gunner. Yeah, it works. Yeah, a massive blue hustle uh, light. Looks kind of cool. This is just way too big, I can't even see when I fire from it. Yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Okay, later.